everyone. Thank you for visiting and watching my channel. This is Shell of Shine's Crafted Designs and let's make something beautiful today. For visiting and watching my channel if you're new here my name is Sheng of Sheng's Crafted Designs and I hope you're going to consider subscribing click like share this video and please don't forget to click that button below for more upcoming videos and welcome to my home for the holidays decorate with me 2021 series of videos and to start with guys I would love to do a little tutorial on how I put ribbons on a tree <laughs> how I put ribbons on my Christmas trees I'm gonna show it to you today it is just, this is just a little walkthrough on how I made this uh, very cute bows here and how I tuck it in here in the in my tree and then this kind of design also how I made those very cute bows and among these four ribbons here I'm gonna show you which one is the easiest kind of ribbon decorating idea and which one here is my favorite leave me your comments below if you have a favorite here which one and i will also tell you which one is my personal favorite among these four decorating ideas using ribbons so if you love using ribbons like me i always make sure that i am buying the wired ribbons so make sure you're buying the same kind of ribbon the wired one regardless of the size and the texture and the style and the color always make sure that you are buying the wired ribbon the very reason behind that guys is that you can easily make bows and loops and play around with your ribbons if it is wired because if it's not wired it's so hard to make a loop and stay like as pretty as this one so always consider buying the wired ribbon and the tools that I'll be needing to create such beautiful details. We just need, of course, the ribbon, a scissor, and a floral wire. So let me show you and explain a little further how I made this bows and how I tuck it in here in my tree. So this is the ribbon that I used during my 2014 Christmas tree. So here guys is the picture of what I did and the details that is shown in the picture. I'm going to show it to you now. I'm gonna teach you. <laughs> I'll be your teacher, okay guys? I'm gonna teach you on how I made this beautiful bow here. So a little shout out to all my friends in the Philippines and here in Canada and other parts of the world. Thank you so much guys for always supporting my channel and um, watching all my videos and leaving your comments. And this ribbon tutorials is one of the most requested tutorials from my friends. Some of you guys personally message me if I can share to you how I put ribbons and how I made them for my tree every year. So, ito na yung inaantay yung tutorial guys. Finally, I can make it for you because of this year's so-called Home for the Holidays Decorate With Me. Please guys, follow. I'll be doing more videos that has something to do with Christmas decorating. Sisimulan ko na on how I did this uh, beautiful bow here on my tree. So, I have this one. As I said, it's wired ribbon. So, gagawa lang tayo ng loop. Okay. It, it doesn't matter how big, how big your loop or how small. So, I think this, this size is good enough for me. And I always leave tails. So, this is my tail for this one. Gagawa tayo ng five loops. So, I have... My, I, I got my first loop here then you just fold the ribbon fold and hatakin nyo sa isa nyong finger to hold it press it hardly then gawa kayo ulit ng another loop 
matatansya naman ninyo kung same size ba sila. So, usually, ayan, makikita nyo, same size na yung loop natin. So, we'll make five of these by pressing here, holding it here, fold, and hold, and make a loop, then press. Alright? I hope you are able to follow. <laughs> okay, I'll make it... Okay, I'm gonna slow down a little bit. Okay. Hatakin nyo yung ribbon nyo if you fold. Hawakan nyo dito. See? Hawakan nyo. Then, you make your fourth loop. Uh -huh. Ayan. And one more. Fold ulit. Fold. Hatakin nyo ulit with your finger. And form your fifth loop. Okay. As you can see, ano, the same naman yung mga sizes ng each loop natin. After this, guys, you grab a floral wire. Then, tatali natin yung ribbon natin using the floral wire. And, grab the other end. Ikot-ikot nyo lang yung floral wire nyo. And twist. I-twist nyo. To secure your five loops. And ayusin nyo lang to form that beautiful flower bow. Diba? Mukha siyang flower. Okay, so that's how I made this sample here on my tree. Then, depends on your preference, guys, how long are you going to make this uh, cascade here. They call it ribbon cascade. <laughs> so it depends on your preference, how long. Then, if gusto nyo ganito kahaba, so from here, Start na naman kayo gawa ng another loop. Okay. Five ulit. Right? Another five loops. Then, same procedure. Make it five. Tight it with your floral wire. And then, you will have a two continuing loops here. So, ngayon, ipapakita ko naman sa inyo paano ko siya nilagay sa tree. Okay. How I tuck it in my tree. I think I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer so I can show you paano ko siya nilagay sa tree. First, of course, tatanggalin ko muna para may ipakita ko sa inyo how I did it. Okay. If you happen to miss my unboxing and my tutorial on how I pluck my tree, guys, I'm going to share that in my description box below i'm going to share the link of the set video so uh you will be guided how to pluck your christmas tree as good as pretty as this one okay so i'm going to show you how i did it here's a closer angle so this one guys ito yung pinakapuno ng ribbon natin right ito yung ilalagay natin dito sa branch ng tree okay Grab a new a branch. Grab a branch. <clears throat> this one. Then you tuck your ribbon there using that branch. Ayan. See? I just tuck it in there. And then we already tucked in our first bow here. So just grab this one here. In this angle, okay, huwag masyadong dikit sa tree. Medyo, huwag masyado yung dikit siya sa tree. Medyo, i-forward nyo yung ribbon to have that beautiful cascading look. Then, grab another branch here. Then, you tuck again the second bow. Then, arrange your bow again. Spread it out. 
Okay, you spread it out para maganda tingnan. See? See the detail on. See the detail on how I made this beautiful cascading here. Hindi siya nakalapat sa tree. Okay? So, for this one, same thing. Make a beautiful cascading design. Then, tuck it in in one of your, in one of your branches here at the back of your tree. And then, you can continue the set process. So, you're going to make more of this so you can cover the whole tree. Okay. I wish na explain ko na tama on how I made this one. So, for the next design, guys, the easiest kind of ribbon decorating is this one. Some people call it uh, uh, waterfall. Some people call it waterfall design some but usually i heard they call it a uh, cascading you have to cascade your ribbon from one end to another you just tuck it in, in and out then using the branches of the using the branch of your tree i'm going to show you the entire process on how i put this ribbon here remember my elf the elf's tree so ito yon. so here's the here's the photo guys so I'm showing you here now the photo of my elves team. So, nakakita nyo dyan, naka in and out na yung ribbon. Okay, I'm gonna show you the entire process. I'm gonna move my camera here. Para makita ninyo how I am going to attach this ribbon to my tree. So, you grab a branch. So, I'm gonna use this branch here. You tuck your ribbon here. Yan. So, iwan nyo lang yung tail on top. And then, make a loop. Bigger loop. Okay? Make a bigger loop. Then, you grab another branch. Or if you want, sideways. Okay. Ah, uh, sure. Okay. You grab a branch here. You just tuck your ribbon using that branch see see the see how made how i made the loop hindi siya naka flat sa tree kundi nakalabas siya and the nicest thing about this guys i used two different texture i used to i used different colors and texture so you can see the beauty and the variety and if you're using two colors of ribbon guys wag yung nakaganun lang siya. Okay. Ilabas nyo siya to create a different dimension naman. For this one, hindi naman siya yung puro straight. Some people does it, but for me, I want it medyo ano, yung may design siya, naka ano siya, naka sideways naman. Or naka ganun. Okay? So, I'm going to bring the camera here para makita nyo. Okay, I'm gonna get another branch here and I'm just gonna tuck in my ribbon. So, I have here two styles already. See? Going here, then the other one is a little sideways. Then, I just spread my ribbon a little bit para naman meron siyang design and you can tell the texture is very beautiful guys and for the rest of my ribbon i will tuck it in underneath from that side i made another angle going down here that as you can see meron tayong natitirang tail so for this one instead of hanging it like that and straight we are going to curl the end of our ribbon and then okay curl it up and then get the get the tail of your ribbon and just let it hang out yan so see the design so yun yung maganda if you are using a if you are using a wired ribbon you can do whatever you want and you can play around it so, for this one, it's either you cut it first, it's very long, eh? so 
I will cut it out and cut it diagonally and then I'm just gonna make another curl. Ikot nyo lang yung ribbon guys. And then you pull the end of your ribbon to make another curly tail. Okay, see the beauty of it? Of uh, having a wired ribbon. Hindi natin nagagawa to guys pag hindi wired yung ribbon natin. So, yun yung kagandahan. Yeah, that's the magic of using a wired ribbon. Okay, so we got our tail here. We just did a little cascading here. And some people call it waterfall. As I said, Ito yung pinaka-easiest way na maglagay ng ribbon. Pag hindi pa kayo masyado marunong gumawa ng bow, then you have the option to to do a ribbon cascading style in your decorating. And for my third one, if you remember, this is the ribbon that I used last year during my modern farmhouse theme. So, instead of the traditional Usually, when you say farmhouse theme, usually it's the plaid, the checkered, red, black, and white. Eh, for me, para maiba naman, and I want something blue, so I use the I use this navy blue and the striped one as my accent ribbon. So I'm going to show you how I made this kind of design using another set of ribbon. So I got these two different size of ribbon. This is two and a half size. This is two and a half and this is one inch. Okay. I am going to show you how I made a pretty yet simple bow here on top of my tree. And same thing, I just cascaded the ribbons here going down. Then I'll just make a beautiful tail here. But I want to show you the details on how I made the bow on top, okay? okay. So, ito yung accent ribbon natin. So, dapat siya yung laging nasa top. Okay, I'm going to make a loop first. Okay, here's my loop. See? Here is the loop. Then, I'm going to press it here. Then, if you notice, nasa ilalim na yung stripe ribbon ko. So, just twist the ribbon. Okay, twist it para bumalik siya ulit na sa top ulit yung stripe or your yung or your para na sa top ulit yung stripe ribbon remember yan yung accent natin okay and just uh, grab them both if pareho na ba yung sukat nila so pretty much pareho na yung sukat and then this one kasi naka, nasa likuran na naman yung stripe you twist it again Para bumalik siya sa harap. See? So, we have our very simple bow. And ito na yung iaano natin. Ika-cascade natin doon sa branch ng tree. And for this one, para magstay stay siya, in our floral wire. So, tatali natin dito. Just tuck your ribbon. Arrange your bow. Leave the tail up. And here is your longer tail here. So, yan yung itatak natin sa mga sa branches to, to achieve that look there. Okay? So, ang dali lang, right? So, I'm going to put it here para I'm gonna move my camera closer so I can show you how I'm going to tack this in here in my Christmas tree. Okay. So, we will grab another branch here. Then, you form another loop, bigger loop this time. Make a bigger loop here. Use the branch of your tree to tuck your ribbon in. Then, 
another loop going down. So adjust that in your camera so you can see it. Okay, from here, you form a beautiful loop here. Use the brush of your tree. And then for the tail, roll your ribbon and hatakin nyo yung end. Pull it out to form a beautiful tail. There you go, guys. Easy lang, right? So easy. Yung top part, a little bit complicated siya kasi nga. You have to do a lot of twisting para laging on top yung accent ribbon natin. There you go. And the fourth one, the fourth idea is this very beautiful and intricate kind of ribbon decorating. So for my fourth design, this is my favorite kind of design so far that I did in my entire life when it comes to decorating a Christmas tree. So this is my most favorite ribbon design. When it comes to ribbon decorating, uh, it, it matters kung ano yung theme mo, ano yung, kung ano yung theme color mo for that year. Well, my 2019 Christmas tree was my glam tree. I call it my glam tree. I use the combination of champagne, the pink, and the white. As you can see in the picture here, it's very glamorous and elegant. And I got a lot of beautiful and good comments about this tree. And I would say that this is uh, my personal <laughs> favorite sa lahat ng tree na nagawa ako sa buong buhay ko. So, I'm gonna show you how I did this. What are the what are the tips on how I was able to come up this kind of design. So, first, the very first thing is wide ribbon again. And as you can see, I cut them into different sizes. Ang pinaka-sikreto ko dito is I staple them both ends. See? <laughs> and I made sure na magkaiba yung sukat nila. So when you roll it, okay, you can roll it using your fingers alone or you can uh, grab a pen to roll it. So I just use my fingers in rolling my ribbon. Just roll it, keep rolling it, and then let go. Alright? Kuha nyo? <laughs> I hope you're still with me, guys. Can you follow that thing? Okay, I'll make another ribbon. This has two, this has three ribbons, right? So, I'll make another one using uh, two ribbons only. So, same thing. I staple both ends and then magkaiba rin yung sukat niya. So, roll it with your fingers. Okay. Make sure it's even and then you roll it see the magic of wired ribbons i kept saying it see the magic of using wired ribbons then you let go all right see that one kahit hatakin mo siya konti para yung curls i made three of this and we will group them together Ito yung longer, ito yung middle, then ito yung isa shorter. So, magkaiba yung height if you notice. So, instead of, you can either put it like that, three different sizes, naka-layer siya, or you can arrange it the other way around para meron siyang little detail naman. Oh, see? Okay, let me move my camera closer to my tree so I can show you how I cut it in here. Okay. Let's use this part of our tree here. I'm gonna grab one of the branch here. I'm gonna tuck the tip of my ribbon. And see, pwede nyo iwan nyo like that or i-arrange nyo siya konti para mas may, makita yung detail and beauty ng each, ano, each layer. I would say that I invested a lot of ribbons on this one because you have to curl it up so you'll be needing more ribbons to do the curls because if you just lang, hindi mo not achieve look. Right? 
So, see how beautiful it is, guys. See all the details and nakakatulong din yung merong design yung ribbon. And if you notice kung ano yung style, yun din yung print ng ribbon dito. So, parang sinunod ko lang din siya. The matter of uh, choosing what kind of ribbon, what color, and what design. So, for this one, it blends well together. Kaya, ganyan yung effect niya. Kaya, ang ganda-ganda at napaka-elegant. Okay, guys. Let me show you now the final designs, the different styles, and the different textures of the ribbons that I use here. And please leave your comments below which one is your favorite. Thank you. 